Hey guys, Freedom for Kaz here. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing pretty good. Hey guys, I want to do a couple stories on the police state. And uh, what's really, really interesting about these is that they're both coming from basically the same source. But they're at opposite ends of the spectrum. So I really think it's important to bring this information forward. So you guys can understand just what's going on. Now in front of me, I have the Wall Street Journal. Okay. And if you look right here, it says U.S. spies on millions of cars. Okay, so basically what they're talking about is is that they're talking about the the uh, license plate readers that are on patrol cars all across this nation. In case you don't know, when a police officer is behind you, he no longer has to type in or call in your license plate. What they do is they have a system that actually scans the rear of your car. It identifies your license plate. And it pulls up all the information about you, your car, and everything that they know about you basically comes up on that computer screen. Whether you have a concealed uh, weapons license or not, everything that they need to know is right there in front of them. And then they choose to whether they want to pull you over for an infraction or not. But when they scan the back of your car, they have they, they, they gather that information, okay? Because all that information is now tied to your license plate. So the story says, basically, it says um, the Justice Department has been uh, building a national database to track in real time the movement of vehicles around the U.S. As, as secret uh, domestic intelligence gatherings, the program that scans and stores hundreds of millions of records about motorists according to the current and former officials in the government documents that they have. The primary goal is to uh, the primary goal of the license plate tracking program run by the DEA is to seize cars, cash, and other assets to combat the drug trafficking and according to one government document uh, the database has been expanded to hunt for vehicles associated with numerous other potential crimes from kidnapping to killings to rapes and people with other familiar things and matters. So again, what they're saying is, is that in America, you are guilty until you're proven innocent. Because until they scan your license plate, and until they make sure that, that you haven't broken any laws or you're not wanted anywhere, you are automatically assumed guilty until you prove your innocence. That is truly the police state. But underneath there is going to be a link. And this is an interesting story. This came out, the story I just read to you came out yesterday. The story I'm going to mention to you today actually came out today. So Wednesday, January 28th, the DEA chief says the U.S. has abandoned plans to track cars near gun shows. This is an interesting read, and I suggest that you read it, because basically what they were going to do is, and one of them's telling the truth, and one of them's not. They are, they are now saying that they scrapped the idea to use cameras to survey vehicle license plates near and around gun shows across the United States. Do you see my point here? The Wall Street Journal says that they're doing it. The link that I'm going to provide you below says that they aren't doing it. The question is, who do you believe? 